So, hey guys, I'm Captain Smash. Um, Smash Strength Lab, Ottawa, Ontario. This is my lovely assistant, Jojo. Um, we're gonna be doing another free workout for you guys. Um, again, it's gonna be another cycle of three exercises. Um, Jojo's gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna cue through them, and then we're gonna do another series of three. Now, I, I realize exercise is tough nowadays for you ladies that are busy. You got busy professional lives, you got busy jobs, um, you got the kids to deal with, you got your pesky husbands, which, you know, Joe knows all about that, and I know all about that, because I am one, so. Um, you know, all I'm saying is, you know, it's such a benefit to yourself to just take that time and do something good for you during the day. So whether it's 20, 30 minutes, you know, that's why we designed these little short workout clips. Is like, this is a workout you can get done in no time flat. And I'm gonna coach you through it so you're not gonna be doing something crazy. We want it to be to your level and we want you to have fun with it. So, you know, come enjoy the fun with us and um, we're gonna get you off to a good start in your workout, all right? so. Here we go. All right, so, and we're back. So, all right, so now the first exercise is gonna be a dumbbell reverse lunge, okay? So Jojo's gonna take it away here. She's standing tall, she's got the dumbbells hanging directly to her sides. Basically, all she's gonna do is take a step back, plant the back foot, bring the back knee down, and then step back up, okay? You can alternate or you can stay on the same side if balance is an issue. Jojo's gonna alternate. Her legs are really sore from a workout that we did so yesterday. Sore. Yeah, oh so gosh. she's struggling right now. So we're using light dumbbells. Now, if you become, if you're a little sore as well from other workouts, hey, you know it's okay to tone it down a little bit. Use a little lighter weight. Okay, use something that feels fairly challenging for you. Okay, so we're gonna go about ten each on this one, and then we're gonna break off into dumbbell front squats. Okay, so good, nice, good work, Joe. Now, the one thing that you're gonna want to notice, Jojo's staying nice and tall here. Her chest is up. She's not getting a very big, exaggerated forward lean. Yes, good, excellent work. All right, good. Okay, we're gonna do one more, and then she's gonna break off into the dumbbell front squat, okay? So Jojo's gonna load the weights up, up onto the shoulders here. They're gonna be right below the elbows. She's gonna get her belly brace and her glute squeeze, kinda squeeze those elbows in together, kinda lock in her lats, and then she's just gonna sit back, okay? Boom, good, nice. Nice and deep into that low squat. She's going nice and low. She's throwing her hips back first, okay? That's the important thing in the squat, is throwing the hips back. Bring the knees out if you need to. Okay? Try to get your bum in between your knees. That's the key in every good squatting motion. There we go. Good. Nice job, Joe. That's it. Looking good. Nice. So we're going to bust out about 10 or 12 of those bad boys. Okay? And then we're going to bust out into some push-up planks. Okay? It's not what you think, so hold on. Good. Nice. Good job, Joe. Let's go ahead and we rack those dumbbells for you. Good. All right. So now, go ahead and get into a push-up position for me. Jojo's just going to basically come down on the ground. She's going to get her hands underneath her shoulders and just form this good push-up position, okay? She's going to squeeze her bum. She's going to brace her abs. She's going to take a little belly breath in, okay? Fill it up the ab full of air and brace all the way around, okay? Her feet are nice and secure. She's going to squeeze her legs a little bit. Look at this. She's like a tabletop up here, okay? You're just going to hold that for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds, okay? And then you're going to repeat the cycle with the reverse lunges and the front squats. All right, that's series one. Stay tuned for the next series here coming up in a few seconds. Nice. Hey guys, we're back with part two. Um, the first exercise we're gonna need a fizzy ball. We're gonna have a seat on there, Joe. And this is the country club, so we're gonna hand her her weights, but you'll have to pick up your own weights. It's all right, Joe. So now, she's gonna brace with her core, okay? Make sure her feet are firmly planted. She's just gonna drive those weights up over her head in a little dumbbell shoulder press, okay? So now, you want to make sure you're breaking 90 on the way down with your elbow, nothing too fancy. Use a weight you can control because that ball is going to be a little wobbly, okay? So you're going to be hitting the core at the same time. This is great for at home because you can do a little bit of extra core work while you're doing your shoulder presses. This really enhances the overall effect. So as long as you're maintaining a nice rigid core and you're not flip-flopping too much around, you'll be awesome. So we'll hit about 10 to 12 of these bad boys, and then we're gonna switch into a double kettlebell row. Good, nice work, Joe. Thank you. Excellent control, good, nice. Come on out of there. There we go, we're just gonna roll the ball out of the way. We give Joe her kettlebells. Now, the key thing with this one is, she's gonna assume a nice bent over position, okay? She's gonna push her bum back, and she's gonna drive her elbows back hard, okay? She's gonna squeeze her shoulder blades real tight together, as she's doing the exercise, make sure that you're almost parallel to the floor. You don't have to be 
right there to begin with, but I mean, somewhere between 45 and parallel with the floor. That way you're hitting the back muscles, okay? You wanna drive those elbows back, give your shoulder blades a good little squeeze in there. See, Joe's doing an excellent job. She's keeping her belly braced nice and tight, so she's nice and firm, I could try to push her and she wouldn't move. I won't move. Oh, she's solid. So we're gonna hit a little higher rep range on this one with about 12 to 15. And you can also use dumbbells for this exercise. Nice job, Joe. All right, now Joe's gonna get her lighter dumbbells, okay? I suggest using a very light set of dumbbells or even your hands work for this one or a light band. She's gonna hit that lower position again in that simple leg deadlift position, brace nice and tight, and she's gonna flare those dumbbells up in a Y raise. There we go, good, nice. So this is a really good one for targeting the mid traps. Generally, it's a very weakened place, especially with our sedentary jobs and whatnot. We've got that forward leading posture. This is a good exercise to help fix that. Also really good engagement in the back of the shoulder. So kind of get a little bit more, less of the front shoulder, more of the back shoulder. So now again with this one, make sure you're braced appropriately. You don't want your back all rounded. So good. Show them poor back posture here, Joe. Let's go here. So this is what we're not looking for, okay? We're not looking for this, okay? This is not good, okay? Go all the way to the floor. All the way to the floor. Yeah. So this position, no, this is a no-go, okay? Don't get in that position. You want a nice flat back. You should be able to hip hinge back and keep your, feel your lower back tense up, okay? So that's what you want out of that position. So you're nice and supported with the muscles and everything feels solid. Good, that's how do you feel? Good. All right, 20 more sets. All right, let's um, do it. So that's, that's right, that's the attitude I want. So I hope you enjoyed this little segment of Smash Strength Lab. Um, check us out on the web and we will see you later.